Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 2 speed build today and so today is definitely going to be a really great day just because I'm excited to say that I'm finally building a grocery store in my times of playing The Sims 2 for the who knows how long, too long, I have never built a grocery store in my entire life because one, I was a terrible builder and two, I just didn't have the time to do it and in three I didn't have the ideas on how to make one functionally but also aesthetically pleasing to the eye to people who want to download this build however I took the time to just sit relax and just build and so that is what I did and this is actually for my save file if you guys do not know I am making a sims 2 save file from scratch where I make all brand new townies all new houses backstories memories are all made by me and so if you guys want to download download it it will hopefully be available to download in the near future but this build itself is up for download if you guys want to download it the link will be in the description down below if you guys want to use it for your own personal gameplay but however this build has a story has a sim that is not very financially stable if i might say because he lives on the very far end of this like lot neighborhood area he has um how would you say not the best appearance uh not the best you know social ability he's not very social he keeps to himself he doesn't really do well when it comes to like social gatherings or anything at all and he has a daughter and the daughter was actually left on his doorstep in the middle of the night when it was raining and thundering and i believe it was almost snowing as well but however there was a baby on his doorstep in the middle of the night that honestly i cannot even remember how it happened but it was just laying there with a note saying i can't take care of this baby anymore it's your responsibility i don't want it blah 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 and the baby was not his to begin with he it was just a baby on his doorstep that he just like didn't know what to do so he took the baby in his care to care for it and he already had a side business going on anyway and it was his grocery store and he thought to himself you know i'm only 32 years old i have this three or month three month old baby to take care of and i need to find some way to really profit off of this business to make it grow successful and make sure that i can provide for my new child and myself and my dog because where he lives it's very abandoned it's an abandoned house on the other side of the neighborhood if you guys do want to watch the speed build of that i will leave the link down below in the description i think it was the very first speed build that i did for this neighborhood and personally i love that house so much the amount of time i have spent on that house i think it took me a good solid two and a half hours to build and i think i also explained a bit more of the backstory around the family the house and how i made it in that video however you guys, when I'm done with the save file, I get to play the game. Like I get to play this save file how I want to, but I also want to like take my time with it because the thing is when making a Sims 2 neighborhood, it is not easy. Well, it is easy if you use like the pre-made like, you know, neighborhood templates. And that's what I did because I didn't really know how to make my own like, custom neighborhood map. And I realized that I had to use Sim City 4, which I just bought on Steam not that long ago. And whenever I'm done with this neighborhood, I'll probably end up be making my own custom map and my own custom neighborhood just the same way as I'm doing right now. But making a neighborhood with all new townies, all new houses, a blank canvas, new memories, new skills, new aspirations, it takes time. I kid you not. I personally love creating something like this and i want to build more in this save file because i have plans to build um a few things for the vacation worlds like a little bungalow in the alpine neighborhood alongside some tiny houses and also fun fact i'm excited for this one a apartment complex i built a two-story apartment that, that only had two apartments on the lot but this one this one will have at least four or five house or four or five apartment units in this apartment complex alongside maybe a playground on the side i i've never really built an apartment complex in my entire life besides i did a collab with girl Me's pixels like 
two years ago and we did like a duplex build uh, in The Sims 2 and then we did a college dorm build in The Sims 3 and when I was doing the when I did the collab with her those both the collabs it got me thinking why have I not done that before ever and now I can do it with my own save and I also have a few little mods that I want to review alongside a current household update videos or several current household update videos because Pleasant Views I'm a hot mess and if you guys want me to do a, um, a little world update, let me know in the comments because I do have a few updates that I do want to share around this neighborhood, what I, have, what I have done, and share some of the few new townies that are included in this world. And I thought also when I was like building this like little plot right here alongside just thinking in general, I thought, you know, there are going to be some buildings that will be empty. And there will also be some townies living in those said houses that with limited furniture. Just to think that they just moved in with like no furniture at all that in their belongings. They just had what they had in the house they just moved in. So don't fret. Some of the houses will be empty with limited furniture or no furniture at all. But you can go ahead and furnish it yourself if you want to. And yeah. That's, that's the tea. That's the tea, sis. It is 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm a delusional, but, you know, what would you expect? Anything less from me? Probably not. And I also want to say that when playing The Sims 2 and also, like, making a at-home business or a business in general was open for business, the expansion pack, I've noticed a lot of different things and the things that I really would like to have in The Sims 4 one day, if we'll ever have that. Probably not. I don't know. But a boy can dream. I miss the ability to buy a cell phone or a handheld gaming device or an mp3 player at a kiosk that you can see right outside of the building and I miss that so much like the small little things that I really really like is like grocery shopping, clothes shopping, well we can do that, we kind of can do that now in the Sims 4 with, with the get to work with clothes and everything but it's not the same, well it, wait it is the same. But I just miss grocery shopping and also just buying electronics, handheld games. The little things that make The Sims The Sims. And it wouldn't be The Sims without glitches, of course. So in this like little area, the guy that I was talking about earlier in the video, he owns this little business right here. And it's not, um, I would say, very profitable. It's on the verge of shutting down, kind of getting it's getting there to about to be shut down where he cannot afford this business anymore hence how much bills he has to pay at his actual house and child support and well not really child support kind of like the child's bills for like hospital bills you know medical bills all the things that he had to do for the baby himself his dog his house his business his his employees like he has so many responsibilities as a 32 year old living alone his parents died when he was really really young at the age of like 15 and so he kind of went into the foster care system at a very like older age in life and he didn't really get adopted and yeah he never got adopted actually so when he turned 18 he was like you know what forget it i'm going to go ahead and just run away and so that's what he basically did he ran away from home he found this place that is the bill that i made which is linked down below hello and it was already abandoned but it had things inside that he could survive with like a bed a you know some extra stuff but as he got older you know got a job he made his own money he was able to afford new things like a computer a new bed a refrigerator stuff like that to make him who he is and live the way he wants to live and you know like 10 20 years well no 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 he was like fifth like 18 and he got a job like he found the house at, at 19 and like he's now like 32 and so it's been like oh how long has it been so it's like when he was 31 he found the baby okay and then he just turned 32 that next said month so like how does one count <laughs> it's been like Oh, well over 10 years it's been over well over 10 years since he uh you know was able to provide for himself and he like bought a business and he bought this business at the age of like 29 and 
since then, it was okay for, like, at the very beginning of, like, the first two years, he was doing super well, and right when he got the baby on a very stormy, snowy night, things just went to crap, where he couldn't really do what he wanted to do, he was actually going through a very tough time when he was at least, like, 31, like, right before his birthday, and the sad part, his parents died on his 15th birthday, yeah. So every year on his birthday, he has memories of his parents and hearing the news that his parents had died. And he can't really cope with that at all. Like he really physically cannot and emotionally cannot cope with the heartache and the sadness that he had to deal with all his life. And when he basically found the baby on his porch step, it was his, it was it was his 31st birthday. Oh no, it was his 32nd birthday when he found the baby. And he was just sitting alone in his apart in his house, drinking. He was drunk, and it was just a hot mess where he couldn't really do what he wanted to do. And when he found the baby, he thought to himself, Maybe this is a maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is a sign where I take care of this baby where my parents couldn't take care of me or the foster care system could not take care of me. So I should provide a life, a, a good, healthy, wealthy life for this child until they grow up to live their own life and however they want to be. And that's pretty much it. And that's why he owns this business. And that's why he's working really, really hard to make it successful and be a good role model slash father for this little girl that he found on his porch step and... I don't know. I just, I get so emotional and so excited and happy when I talk about The Sims 2 and their stories and their lives. And I really want to go in depth with everything when it comes to these things like this. And hopefully you guys don't find it annoying where I just ramble about, you know, their storyline and explaining a lot of things that make no sense to probably you. And I don't talk about the build, but I really am passionate about The Sims 2 and passionate about storytelling and my Sims lives. And how I really want to see it go forth into the future if you ever download the save file, I would say that spend the time with the Sims, spend time with them and get to know who they really are based off like their memories and you know their skills and their jobs and relationships to like really understand where they're coming from. Because when I play the Sims, I always think about what was their past life? How did they really live? Where did they live before? Who were their parents? Who were their grandparents? How did they really, you know, do things on a day-to-day -day basis? And that's what the save file is all about. Their past, present, and future. And like, how can it continue on for years and years until, you know, things pass on? And I'm talking for way too long. It is 2 a.m. in the morning. I feel like I'm talking like a novel right now, but hey, it'll happen sooner or later. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap up this voiceover right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below, as always, of what you thought of the speed build. If you guys want to see more speed builds like this in The Sims 2, don't you worry. I got some plans for you, especially in the next video that I am planning right now and I'm building it is actually going to be a little tiny house or probably either a um um like a what's it called like it's not a trailer park but it's like three houses on one lot where your sims can rent each house based off what their you know expenses are basically but that is what I'm going to be doing next hopefully but but like I said I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always of what you thought of the storyline. Will you be down downloading this build for your own personal gameplay? If it's a yes or a no, let me know. Also, check the description for some future things. Also, last but not least, if you guys want to contribute to the channel's videos and want to leave subtitles for other languages like English, Portuguese, Spanish, whatever your language is, please let me know. Please hit, the, please click the link down below in the description to contribute to this video to go ahead and add subtitles because I want to be inclusive and, I, and diverse as much as possible when it comes to videos like this. I talk very fast, so good luck, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, like I said, I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.